Hi, welcome to this part, part 33 of this playlist. We will look at some more questions which are linked to Advisor, Microsoft 365 and Azure ARM. Do hit the subscribe and the like button. Now let's jump into the questions. We need to choose yes or no for each one of these. This is how it appears in the exam as well. So the first one says if advisor it helps with recommendations to improve security so you see this stuff here which is highlighted as your security will help you with sorry as your advisor will help you with security so with security of all Azure resources here it talks about AD Azure AD but that is fine if it covers security of all Azure resources AD is included so the answer would be yes now the next question says that uh, will advisor also recommend how to reduce cost so if we see this highlighted here so we also see cost so this is yes as well now third says that advisor will also help you with configuration of network settings on vms so this is no for sure because uh, this tool will only help you with reliability security operational excellence performance and cost it will step by step like VM, how do you configure or Synapse, how do you configure or Azure SQL Server, how do you configure? So it will not give you those recommendations. So this is the final answer. The next question is about Compliance Manager. So this is Compliance Manager. It is built upon trust security and compliance so compliance can be for all of these or uh, we, ca we can view audit reports also here all audit reports for HIPAA and some D365 finance these sort of audit reports are there so primarily if you see these options it ne never activates from active directory admin center it is uh, active directory is a uh, purely for user creation authentication and so on it doesn't happen from there and uh, the microsoft trust portal so this like we saw it gave you the details of what compliance it applies and uh, like HIPAA or other financial compliances and if you want to see those kind of reports of the entire Azure or Microsoft environment then you can go to the service portal service trust portal so I was just trying to see if in Azure portal do they allow to do it so so i saw this article but here it says that this is the direct link to access compliance manager so when we click this it asks for microsoft id uh, and uh, i see that it does not take you to azure portal actually it, though here it says go to the microsoft purview compliance portal but uh, you will need to sign in with a global administrator account so it takes you to this one actually 365 admin center as your portal we see lot of services but it seems that it has been integrated in azure portal but ultimately you have to log in through this admin center only so i think this would be the correct answer because based on the investigations i did i do not see any better answer than this see here we are talking about primarily infrastructure as a code 
because when we talk about uh, consistency so that is infrastructure as a code so if you see these options infrastructure as a code if you see only one will fit arm this one so you can automatically create update and delete resources in your account see first what you have to do is you create a arm template okay and suppose you choose i want two vms and one sql server and one synapse database instance you can add it then put it on development box with whatever configurations you want to make it work you put it on development box but all resources resource names configurations will go in your template then tomorrow you know that after few days you will have to create a system integration test environment also so if you do this step manually again you will install all of those things or you will add services configure your dev and test boxes will not be in sync with respect to configuration there will be so many challenges so in order that to not suffer that pain you should use arm you create this template once create development box from this template and after a few days or months when you want to create a test box use the same template you may just change say cpu ram you can you know in the vm probably you can add some additional uh, like higher vm type or you can keep it same up to you but that will provide consistency you will not face this problem that okay in dev when i was setting that up it was so unstable initially it took me 12 days 15 days to make it stable and again i am doing the same in sit i am again taking 12 to 15 days to make it stable that is eliminated if you use arm see the this is wrong because the policy always you should link with police you want to implement some policy then you should use it like uh, i will not allow a vm of this instance type to be created like a very large vm with gpu because it is very costly you can create a policy here it will not help you with this kind of requirement of uh, creating platforms deploying objects and resource groups so that is a uh, a logical thing for example you have resources from finance so you group them together you have resources from it team you group them together what are resources like vms uh, some active directory users uh, database sql server azure sql server database so you can group them together that is a logical stuff that is not a replacement of infrastructure as a code or creating templates to create consistency across environments so we will lock this answer and move forward arm templates they allow you to you know iterate quickly so you can read this section for more clarity okay and like why choose arm templates because it is easy like it has declarative syntax repeatable results it is very important for consistency same template you run it in one environment same template you run it in another environment you will get the same set of resources and uh, the templates will help you significantly with orchestration means first i create two vms then i create some sql server synapse and so everything will be in sequence in orchestration the files are modularized and you can read through all of these these are all the advantages it also works with ci cd integration perfect so what do you define in the template parameters variables functions resources outputs so you can use json as a language and you can also use yaml as a language to write these
so this brings us to the end of this part please hit the subscribe and the like button in this part we looked at questions with following these three topics do not forget to refer parts 1 to 32 for previous questions all questions are still valid see you in the next part